All right, here we are, 5325 Cypress Reserve Place here in Winter Park, Florida, 32792. We've got a five bed, three and a half bath, 3598 square foot. A lot of updates, HVACs are both 2000 and 2022. New water heater. You got a new paver patio, excuse me, driveway, three car garage. Come through the French doors. And just to give you kind of layout right when you walk in, your masters to your left, sitting room, dining through there is the kitchen and another living room and obviously your stairs upstairs your stairs to the second floor. So we'll start here on our left, into the master, wood burning fireplace. You've got carpet, tray ceilings. We've got his and her closets here. And here in the bathroom with this gray tile. Cabinets have been painted. Seems to be the same builder grade tops and finishes. A little toilet behind here. Garden tub, no jets. And you've got this, what looks to be like a spray epoxy almost over the tile. Frameless glass shower. Again, back out of the front door, dining room, kind of sitting room. You've got double slider. House is built in 1998. Here's your kitchen, very light, white, bright. Overlooking the living room, another gas burning fireplace, granite countertop, soft closed white shaker style cabinets. Costco pantry. Flip over here to your laundry room that has the same cabinet and sink. Granite top. Here is the three car garage. Again, not as deep, but you can definitely get three cars, two cars, make it storage. 80 gallon water heater that has the on-demand hot water hookup right there on the top. Here's your first 2020 HVAC. That was put in in December of 2020, so pretty much right in, right about two years old. You've got your living room, plantation shutters everywhere. Again, crown molding. This is like a cherry wood, or cherry stain at least. Electricity underneath. Here's your exterior. This uh, bar was recently added on. They do have water going to it. It does kind of jet out a little bit and separate the spaces. That's your master, your first sitting room. You've got a pool bath and then the living room, which we just came in from. Here's your pool and hot tub. Pool surface is starting to show a little bit of its age. You don't see any pitting or chipping, just a little bit of discoloration. Probably see it here a little bit easier. Few settlement cracks, which is normal in the larger slabs. Nice covered area. We go over to this way. Here's your pool equipment. You've got the solar heater going up for the pool. You've got your, what I believe is a gas heater on that side for the actual spa. Nice side yard space, sprinklers.
screens, everything look great. Come back in this way. Back through the kitchen. And this is your pool bath. It's just a half bath right here. Pretty standard builder grade stuff. There's your entrance out to the pool and just another storage closet. Back through the dining and first sitting room up the stairs, you've got two landings, one here and then one there. And just a closer look at the flooring. So you walk up to this landing right here. They've got like a little bench here. Could be an easy little desk kind of office area, but you've got bedroom number two, three, four, five, loft area. So we're gonna start on the right. Bedroom number two, nice space. Nice, large closet. Bedroom number three. Carpet's coming up a little bit, so you've got, you know, kind of not the best install. Into another very large closet. They're using, obviously, as storage for Christmas. And here's your bathroom for those two bedrooms. Again, same kind of upgrade they did in the kitchen, same cabinets. We've actually got two sinks, which I can't find the light switch, but oh, here we go. We've actually got two sinks, one here and one here. And then to your shower shroud, looks great. You don't see anything just here with the naked eye, any voids or anything like that, but it is a nice lower tub. Got another linen closet right here. Pretty good space. And we're gonna go, so better before, we'll start over here actually first. Here is your second HVAC. It looks like they had them both replaced in 2020. This one was done in October. The other one was done in December of 2020. Bedroom four. Jack and Jill bathroom. Again, you've got the two sinks, same exact style as the other in the kitchen. And then again into this area, which I can't find the light switch. That's actually behind the door. Pretty straightforward. And then finally out into bedroom number five. Same carpet, you can see the little ripple there as well. And your closets. Back out in the main landing, flipping over here to the loft area.